Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can create a custom single page application component. So basically, SPA component has two parts. One is AM component, another one is React component. And when you combine these two, it makes a complete single page application component. So these two sections has different responsibility. AM component is used to create dialogues and Sling model. Sling model obviously is used for the content exporter and you must understand content exporter if you did not see that i have already two tutorials related to content exporter you have to go back and check Re uh, react component is used for rendering but the content for rendering is provided by the sling model means content exporter so this am component is used for two things one is dialog in storing user data and sling model to export your the values which you saved to this uh, uh, react component but these two sections must be mapped because AEM component is at server side and react component is at client side so now this SPA framework comes into picture that this SPA framework react framework provide the functionalities to map this uh, AEM component to react component so how it work once you have react component another you have this AEM component so you map basically uh, there is a functionality available called map to. Don't worry about it. I will explain this in detail by using demo. So this map to has two sections. You see the first one is the path or uh, in a CRXD or the path of your component it means the resource type of your component. Let's say I have a component called author and it is under uh, slash component slash author. Another bracket is used for a react component. So this author is the name of your, your class and this custom edit config basically you can have any name but you can imagine like this when you drag and drop component normal am component you see before you add it you see the title of that component or something to display like this is the component placed here so the same thing is used for uh, this cu uh, custom edit config you can name anything so let me now let me explain with example and i'll give you a demo so I created a very simple component called author, which has just three dialog field, first name, last name, and professor. This professor is a checkbox. And other than this, I don't have anything in this component. So I have only dialog. Now let's come to the backend part. So I created obviously a interface. This interface must extend this component exporter. The you must see this. The implementation of this uh, interface is uh, the sling model you know how to write sling model at the rate model and then adaptables is this request this adaptable uh, adapter is one is our interface and another one is content exporter which actually comes by the apis the resource type is obviously my component default injection you know this at the rate exporter to make this sling model exporter you have to add at the rate exporter and this is the what kind of it is means this the exporter this is a Jackson uh, Jackson exporter and the type is obviously the JSON uh, you must understand this for this you can have the previous tutorials now what you are doing here is simple just value map you got these fields and you return these getter methods one important thing is one important method is get exported type this you must have this even if you see you don't see this method in interface right but this method is coming from this uh, this extended interface okay this and what it should have the get exported type should have the path of your component resource type if you see here right now this am part is done now if i come to you have to write react component inside front end module right go to the front end src components and i added this author inside this you have J, uh, js you must understand how to create component or how to write component in react so i will not explain that but for the basic understanding i will explain what is there so if i open first of all i imported this react another one i imported a uh, map to map to is from this 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 is provided by the framework okay now first thing is let's come here this is my class exported default class default class is author which is the name of my component then render render function is used to render your whatever the content you have means all the rendering logic go to this now now come to this so first let's let me show you this thing which i showed you in ppt map to 
you see this map to this map to is imported uh, import from this okay now this is the am part which is the path or the resource type of this component another one is author which is the name of this component custom added config here i declared a constant custom added config now you will see here is this empty label empty label is author means when you drag and drop component over page until you edit that component this label would be visible okay if you are saying here is empty this is the uh, function it's saying if the properties this this property object basically this object contain the values means json what you receive from the component okay this will contain so if i see here this is i'm checking return null it it not empty what i'm saying if first name it does not contain first name or it does not contain the last name let it i'm saying this last first name trim is equal to length is equal to minus one basically it is checking if your some if your property is empty or a particular field is empty then this should return okay this should return you see i added this here this is what it is if it is not return it come here so here if my this this is empty then return null that means it will not return anything okay now return this when when my object is not empty so what i'm saying i from this property object means prop object i'm getting the first name last name is professor right these three things i had and if this is a professor then let's say write this professor and all this is simple thing okay now if i save and deploy this so what you must understand one more thing you need to remember you have to add this component here import custom it's not necessary it completely depend on your project right so i'm adding this component because this imported component is added in a page okay so whatever the component you add that must go here as well so letting know the page component type okay this component also needs to be added okay so import it import component you can directly add there as well as I said earlier, your processing will start from index.js. So if you see, I'm importing this, this import hyphen components. So either you can import all your component here or what I'm doing, I'm creating a file and there I'm mentioning all this component and I'm adding this import here. So you must have a entry in this file also, this author. Now it's done. Once you deploy, so what will happen? All these things means all this stuff all this stuff will be deployed as, as as a client library means at a js file so you will not deploy this react component separately we will create one js means one client library and we'll deploy that client library to AEM. okay how it happened i will explain that in a separate tutorial that is a big topic means we need to understand ui dot front end but that's a big topic okay now let me build it one more thing important for you if you are using a cloud as a service this basically this project is written for cloud if you are using a standalone means am6.5 or something you should use this mvn clean install auto install package p classic means you are using the standalone version not cloud so you should use this to build and deploy your project to local let me deploy okay, let me deploy So code has been deployed so if you check now this component author is available so when i add this you will see this author when i did not edit any property means uh, did not add anything to dialog it will show this author as i said this uh, where it is mm, this one so for empty this is the empty label if you change anything here it will change okay now let me author this uh, let's say first name is am second name is cakes and it is author so you see this this has been come this is happening at the client side you must understand let me author let me add something let's see add and you will see the page will not reload see the changes has been applied so, 
Now, two important things you must remember. One is caching. So these this rendering at the client side, so things might cache at your browser. So if you make any change, please remember to clear your cache while development. So it, it is a possibility you are making right changes, but you don't see until you clear your browser cache. Another thing is uh, the variable against which your uh, data is stored, means against which the dialog values are stored. So if you do like this, and let me reload this open this in a new browser new window and check your component so where is my author component where you will see here author component and the first name and last name but from these where these variables are coming from because if you check this my mm, this my dialog names means field names are f name last name so if you remember content exporter related tutorials so these variables come from this method method name remove get and make this f small so this is the variable obviously you can change it as per your need but let let it be now let it be now the thumb rule is if you don't change these names using some annotations and all so that this variable name would be remove get I means this getter and this f is small so the first name last name professor so remove this and it will be if you check here it will be is professor right so then that way so you must remember how to get it and these are the actually the variable you must use while getting this thing while while writing rendering logic if you see here this prop dot first name and this is the same so you you must remember this so I hope you understood how to create a simple custom single page application component using AEM and React both. So if you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.